Hello and welcome to this demonstration of how to configure address rewriting for Enterprise Vault SMTP archiving. So I'm going to start at the administration console and the first thing I'm going to do is to cr create a new SMTP archive. I call it EV SMTP one. So I'm just going to set the permissions so the service account's got access. Right, so in this demonstration, I'm going to create the target, the SMTP target, using PowerShell. So I'm just going to open up the Enterprise Vault PowerShell window, Enterprise Vault Management Shell. So in order to be able to use the new Enterprise Vault PowerShell commands in EV1101, I need to import various DLLs first of all. Uh, and what I've done is I've created a text file with all the commands that I need to use. So I'm just going to copy this to the clipboard. And then paste these into here. And then I've got the command that I'm going to use to create my new target. So there are quite a lot of new PowerShell commands in Enterprise Vault 11.01. And um, they're really mostly to do with the functionality that was added in 11.01. So with this command, I'm creating a new uh, EVSMTP target, and the name is going to be EVSMTP1 at smtp.local, specifying the policy name, the retention category, the archive name, and the archive type. You'll notice give me a warning that I need to restart the archiving task, but there's some other bits of configuration I need to do first before I will restart the task. First of all, let's go and check that it has actually created that target. So if I refresh here, you can see there is our new target. So this one, which I created in the previous demo, I'm going to now set to uh, not archive messages from it because I'm going to do address rewriting uh, and the emails are going to land up in this archive instead or using this target. So I do need archive messages sent from this ad SMTP address. So the next thing I'm going to do is to open up Windows Explorer and go to C, Program Files, x86, Enterprise Vault, I need to find the SMTP folder and then I want to go to data etc switch and you'll notice that there's this file here called smtp.local.aliases so this has been created because I've used that fictitious domain smtp.local for at least one of my target uh, email addresses it's created this aliases file so this won't be created um, unless uh, I've already got an, a target email address for that domain. So if I open that up in Notepad. So it's this uh, file where I can configure the address rewriting. Uh, 
and the syntax is very simple. So any emails coming in on this email address, evjournal uh, at uh, smtp.local, will be alias to evsmtp1 at smtp.local. So I need to save this somewhere else because of the wonders of Windows. So I'm going to save it in my documents folder. And then I'm going to copy that file and copy it back to the original location. Copy and replace. Continue. Okay, so that's all done now. So what I need to do now is to restart that SMTP archiving task. So let's do that. And now I can test it. So once again, create a new email to a number of different users. So send this email and I'll go back to my EV server and go to the holding folder. And you'll notice I've got two subfolders there now. So this is the email that's just been sent in. Remember, this email was sent to evjournal at smtp.local. That is the journal rule which is in uh, Exchange. But what I'm doing now is rewriting that address to evsmtp1 at smtp.local. And I have configured and created the target address for that email address to put it into the evsmtp1 archive instead. So once this has uh, disappeared and been archived, we should be able to go to the evsmtp1 archive and find the item has been stored there. Okay, so you can see the email has now disappeared. So let's go back to the admin console and go to our smtp archives and search the evsmtp1 archive. So you can see that that item has now been archived within the evsmtp1 smtp archive. So that brings us to the end of our demonstration of how to configure address rewriting in Enterprise Vault 1101. Thank you very much.